topics. Ask about rebates that can save you up to $20,000. Call 800-557-8656 today. Here to the PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn, along with the one and only Robert Conrad, and our guest. So many series that he was in. One of those series, Falcon Crest, the theme you're hearing right now. The one and only Lorenzo Lamas. Once again, here's Robert Conrad. Hey. So anyway, now that we've got you back, and you told us what your favorite show is, what, Renegade. What, yes, absolutely. And when uh, Stephen says he liked. Uh, I always asked him what the other actors were like because Steve and I had a, we had a different relationship. You guys were friends. Well, yeah. Well, it's we. You know, when he was just starting out, I was already established, and we became friends because of uh, that association. And we were really, really, really good friends. And I would always ask him. I I didn't ask. I knew his dad, so I didn't have to ask about him. But I did ask about Johnny Depp. I said, "What that was? What's that guy like?" And if I got, you know, the bad negative out of it, you know, it affected me. But he said that that Deb was also a very polite, you know, nice guy like uh, the guy we're talking to. So, Lorenzo Lamas. So yeah. Lorenzo Lamas. Uh, uh, wait, and this is what's fun. We have, uh, I, there are four women that work here at, at CRN. And they are, I tell you, there are four really pretty women. We're on camera now, Lorenzo, and you're not. And so we can show to the, our audience these lovely ladies one of them came in just now, and she gets uh, talent or tries to get talent, and she's the one that went in, uh, went after you, and she's heard your interview, and she came in here, and she was all giggly, and her name's Courtney. And she's, yeah, say hi to Courtney for yeah, me. Yeah, she's 22 years old, and you went, oh, he's just so wonderful. I said, all right, I'll tell him he's just so wonderful. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you, you know, Stephen, I think, was one of the <laughs> nicest men that I had ever worked with because of all his success, and what a prolific guy. I mean, a dozen television shows, all number one hits, you know, yep. books. He was a best-selling author, you know, in the latter part of his life. With with all that success, he was the most down-to-earth and, and, and real guy that you would ever want to meet. It was just such a pleasure to work with him, and uh, I'm, I'm sure that you shared that you know, uh, that, that common thread, Bob, you know, I mean, uh, I was younger, obviously a different generation, but we really, we really, uh, met on many levels, uh, as, as equals. And, uh, it was from the very beginning of, of, of talking about Renegade. I mean, he brought me to the office. This is Stephen Campbell. I had gone up to audition for a dozen other shows for Stephen, and I never got one of those, those parts, but he called me out of the blue one day on my phone. And he said, Lorenzo, he said, uh, I'd like you to come in. I want to talk about uh, doing a show with you. Well, I just about dropped my phone, right? So I get in the car, go over to, uh, he had his offices there on, on the corner of uh, of Hollywood Boulevard and uh, and, and uh, uh, La Brea. Yeah, exactly. A big sign Channel, was up Channel there always. Studio, yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And uh, I go up to this office and, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm led into his his. Uh, office there and, and the first thing I see were like a dozen Emmys on the shelf <laughs> and I'm going like holy cow I'm trying to control my breathing right so I sit down with Stephen and he goes let me talk to you about this character that I written I've written a show it's called the black shadow and we're thinking about bringing it back out and uh, that, that that title changed obviously because the the white shadow was a was a prior series with Ken Howard about a bunch of kids playing basketball so they changed the title they made it renegade but he was just so uh, compelling, you know, telling me the story and listening to my input. And I pulled out a picture of a, of a Harley I just bought. And I said, well, you know, Stephen, I, I think this might be the bike we'd, we'd want to use. And, you know, he liked the, the, the motorcycle and everything. And so it, it was the beginning of a, of a great, great collaborative effort uh, between the two of us. He's just such a, such a warm and, and, you know, conscious uh, man agreed now moving on my friend and thank you i'm sure the family loved hearing what you just said and i'll probably talk to marcia in the next couple of days that's of course steven's uh, wife and i'll mention to her the kind things that she had to say about her husband 
now we we have our girls. Is that what I heard? How many girls do we have? Uh, well, well you know, I've got I've got five. Two are up and out, and I'm working on three of the little ones. I've got a, a 10, wow. 11, and a 13-year-old. They're all in middle school, and the 13-year-old and the 11-year-old have found, you know, the, the, the boys, you know, that's starting now. You know, it's starting with you know, like a movie date, chaperone movie date, and this and that and the other. So, you know, I'm, I'm in the in the heat of, of this, this uh, you know, uh, estrogen load and the estrogen load and what was it like know, on got, falcon crest we had a listener earlier called in here lorenzo lamas and saying working with the great jane wyman was that a great experience as well well phenomenal i mean she she was a uh, you know all business you know you came to the set prepared to work with her mm-hmm. because she came to the set prepared and the biggest lesson i took away from that experience was was to just you know do the work be prepared and like Spencer Tracy used to say, don't bump into the furniture. You know? I love it, yes. Uh, it, it's a great example. Hang you know, on here one more second. We want to get a website out for you and talk about Cathedral City. We'll be right back. <laughs> 